The Museum of Natural History in New York is a regular destination for Jody Neal and her two kids. Teaching her children about the environment and how global warming is affecting it is important to Jody, but she also doesn't want to alarm them. Lilu, who is seven, recently got a lesson about climate change in school. I could see that it was really impacting her directly, that it was causing her a lot of fear. It was talk about the polar caps melting and rising sea levels that scared Lilu the most. The family lives near the water in New Jersey. She's really taking the stance that she wants us to take immediate action to move to somewhere with mountains, any ways that we can stop it. Uh, so I think it's something that she's very worried about just from the short sort of introduction that they've had in school. Awareness about climate change is growing, thanks mainly to younger people who have been marching around the world to draw attention to the issue. Schools and the media have been discussing it more, too. Parents are increasingly facing some difficult questions about how the world will look in the future if global temperatures continue to rise. Some parents are struggling with how best to respond to their children. Dr. Gail Gross is the author of How to Build Your Baby's Brain. We don't want to frighten our children. In fact, just the opposite. We want our children to be secure, confident, and that leads to competency. So whatever we tell them needs to be age appropriate and it needs to be positive. Gross says staying positive helps children think of ways they can take action which can ease some of their anxiety. What can we do for Mother Earth? Then you're bringing children into thinking about activity, which lowers stress, and you're also giving them things they can do that make them feel they're competent, they're doing something for the environment. That's the way we should be talking about climate change with little children. Jody agrees. I think if it's introduced in a way that everyone has a part to play in really improving the situation and small ways that we can all do that every single day, that would be a good, a good way to, to ease them into the topic. And then once they get older, they can perhaps understand more of the, the magnitude that we're, that we're facing in regard to environmental impacts. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.